All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, hey, man, <laughs> through the spirit, man, I just uh, woke up this morning and my brother actually showed me this uh, this video, okay, that one of the brothers, I believe, from the Dallas camp did, okay, um, concerning um, an angel, all right, coming to them basically at camp. All right, and um, hey, man, just listening to the testimony, it, bo it boosted my spirit. You know, I know it boosted my brother's spirit, and definitely boosted brothers out there's spirits. You know, and that's 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 because that is the time that we're living in. Okay, if you notice, us getting closer and closer to the end, these prophecies getting more and more intensified. Guess what? The Lord is also intensifying the uh, the spiritual things. All right, seeing more chariots. Okay. You know, I mean, the Lord, the Lord answering prayers just like that. Okay, we can feel the Lord getting closer and closer and closer, because guess what? At that time, all right, of Jacob's trouble, the elect are gonna know, they're gonna feel the Lord with them, all right, without a without a doubt. Okay, but hey, man, this just goes to show you that we're we're in that time, all right, of miracles and 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 and, and spiritual power and angels, all right, because it is written of in the scriptures, all right, and. What, what you think the end is going to come or how it's going to break loose and we're going to get delivered and none of these things are going to happen? No, it's written of. Okay, so it will happen. All right, so I'm just going to get a couple of accounts, okay, on 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 the uh, on these different things. All right, but this is uh first this is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 12 verse um, verse 17. It says for when for when men will not believe that thou art of a full power, thou showest thy strength, and among them that know it makest their boldness manifest. Okay, and so we we were out there, you know, I mean, uh, teaching our people and letting them know, all right, about Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, to give all praises and 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 honor and glory and to fear Him, all right, because He is the Most High. But you have a lot of people that are in disbelief, all right, they don't believe it. They make fun of the Lord's name, all right? They claim the Lord, the Lord is in a, a so-called a, a black man. They, all these different things, some of them even go as far as to blaspheme the Lord, all right? Ultimately, because they don't believe that he is of a full power, okay? It says, thou showest thy strength, and the Lord is going to do that, okay? Whether it's manifesting a, 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 a straight-up angel without a reasonable doubt, or, or, or you know what I mean, uh, bringing that spiritual power, or having brothers perform miracles, whatever it may be, that's a form of the Lord showing his strength. Why? Because it's it's the men who are calling upon his name and sincerity and in truth that he's going to show his strength through or to. All right. And that shows his strength because that shows you the power in the name. All right. That we're calling upon. It says, and among them that know it. All right. Meaning those who are in the know. Thou makest their boldness manifest because now the Lord is, is, is given that proof. Okay of what we've been seeing, all right, and that what, that boosts your spirit and that, that, that yeah, increases your faith and, 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 and makes you bold, all right, it makes you bold in the Lord because now whatever you've been saying, it's happening right then and there, so you can keep on going and perform even more heavier miracles or more heavier spiritual acts because you already know that the Lord is right there uh, 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 fulfilling the things that he said he would, he would fulfill, all right. It says, um, now I got this next precept, man. This, this is one of my favorite precepts as well, man. Okay. It says, uh, this is 2 Maccabees chapter 5, and I start at verse 1. It says, about the about the same time, Antiochus prepared his voyage, or uh, his second voyage into Egypt. And, what, and then it happened that through all the city, for the space of almost 40 days, there were seen horsemen running in the air, in cloth of gold and armed with lances, like a brand, like a band of soldiers, all right, and those were angels, okay. Now it says this was going on for forty, for almost forty days, okay. Angels in the air. You basically war, war, war training or war games, you know. Horsemen running in the air. <laughs> hey, man, this, this to the to uh, to the sincere men would be a beautiful and joyous sight. However, to to those who lack understanding. It would be a fearful sight unto them, okay. But don't be surprised if, if something like this or even greater starts happening, 
because that's the times we're living in, okay? It says, and troops of horsemen in array, encountering and running one against another with shaking of shields and multitude of pikes and drawing of swords and casting of darts and glittering of golden ornaments and harness of all sorts, okay? Imagine seeing that. You look up in the skies and you see a, a swarm of, of just angels just going at it. You're hearing the sounds and everything too. You, you think people are going to be in disbelief then? <laughs> All right. But we're going to, but that's the, the joy and the beauty of having this knowledge is that we're going to understand what it is that's going on. We're not going to be in fear. Okay. So it says, wherefore, every man prayed that the, that that apparition might turn to good. Okay, because it's imagine seeing that this world ain't never seen anything like that before. Hell, they're so they're so not spiritual that if they were to read a scripture like this, they couldn't even perceive it. They can't understand it. They can't visualize it in their mind's eye because they don't believe it. This would be too much for them. So how much more for actually seeing it before your eyes? Okay, you know, you're going to have times when angels will just uh, deliver somebody, you know, deliver a man of the Lord. You, you don't, hey, you might be about to uh, uh, crash, okay? Don't be surprised if you have some, some more testimonies that come up on, like, some, it's like, whoa, what? You know? You might be, you might be driving, you know, you're going at a good pace or whatever, and all, all of a sudden you just see, <laughs> you know, you just see, like, a a, 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 a truck, all right, or, or, you know, them tanker trucks or whatever it is, it, it's, it's coming towards you, and it just turns and starts rolling towards you. You know, you out here like, oh, all right, it's over. You just sit. I, I ain't nothing you could do. It's coming so fast, you can't even get out your car in time. So, you know, you call on the name of the Lord, and then boom. You open your eyes, all right, and your car is on the other side of the street. You're in it on the other side of the street, you know. And then the, 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 the tanker truck has just crashed right by where your car was. Okay? It, it, testimonies like that, yo, that what, what is that? That's the Lord right there, Okay? But these are all just examples, all right, of the spiritual acts and so on and so forth because we read about them, okay? But reading reading about it and visualizing it, it's going to be more intense when you're seeing it physically or you're performing it or you're within it, okay? <laughs> when, you, when you read, man, and you see how when uh, uh, men of the Lord saw the angels, all right, in their form, they were shook, all right? They, was, they were like, oh, shoot. All right, because that's not a common thing. You know, you know, that's just your everyday angel right there. No, all right. But th those are exciting things. All right, that the Lord is gonna perform, man, and we're gonna see it. We're gonna witness it because this is this is the end all be all. We are in the last days. So so it's gonna be you know like they in 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 shows or in, even in wrestling or whatever they save the best for last. The the best match they'll save it for the end. This guy comes out, this guy comes out, they hype it all up, you know, and this goes on because it's the last one. WrestleMania or, or whatever it is. Guess what? This this is the spiritual WrestleMania. Okay, this is the last go around. So the Lord is gonna, he's gonna that's why things are, you know, things are moving at, at the pace they are. Because everything is gonna happen in this time. The scriptures say, uh, let me pull that real quick. This generation. All right. This is Matthew 24 and 34. It says, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all, all these things be fulfilled. Okay. So that means everything that has been written of from the beginning to the end of the book is going to come to pass. Okay. The things that are meant to come to pass in the last days will come to pass in this time. Because if they didn't happen before... Then they have to happen now. That's why it says all things. Okay? The prophecies, the miracles, the spiritual power, the fame, the persecution, the famine, the death, the destruction, Jacob's trouble, the angels, the chariots, World War Three, Yahweh Shai's return, everything. Alright? Now, even one of these things is something to marvel at. So imagine all of that happening. Man, we we're in for some sights. Okay? We are in for some sights, and all these things will be, will be, man, I, look, man, in the kingdom, there are going to be books written and all that of, of the things that we went through here. And just as we read 
and heard about the men of old, and we were like, oh, shoot, damn, he really did all that? Guess what? In the kingdom, there's going to be books written on us. Damn, they really did all that? Yo, they were going here, they were doing this. All right, and this is the spirit we're going to be in. This is Acts chapter uh, 6 and 7. And the word of the Most High increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. Why? Because of the, the spiritual power, the acts, the miracles. Okay? That's why how should I said, what? If, if you won't believe me, at least believe me for the, for the very work's sake. Because you can't deny that. The man turned water to wine. The man healed the blind. <laughs> that rhymed. You know? The, the, uh, all of that, man. Cleansed the lepers. Cast out demons. And it's going to be authentic. We're going to be doing that. And it's not going to be any magic tricks. What kind of magic trick are you gonna use to cast a demon out? <laughs> that has to be that has to be true power, okay? Legit, authentic, real deal power from the Most High, okay? Let me actually hold this precept on deck. Uh, is it this? Okay, yeah, Zephaniah 3 19. Let me finish in Acts and I'll go to that. It says here, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. All right. That's gonna solidify. See when the when the, the miraculous acts start happening, it's gonna it's gonna solidify the faith, all right, of, of, of everybody else who are of the elect. All right. It says, And Stephan, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Okay. That's what that's that's the spirit we're gonna be in. We're gonna be we're gonna be full of faith and power. All right. We're gonna feel the the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai flowing through us, and it's not gonna be a, a thing of doubt. Oh, what if what if I do it? And no, no, no. You're gonna feel the spirit moving you to do it. That's like sitting down. You are doing a sit down. You're like, well, what, what if what if I'm, I'm what you mean? <laughs> the, the Lord is gonna put it within you, and it's just gonna be normal. You're gonna do what you gotta do. Which are what? Great wonders and miracles. And that's going to cause a lot of people to believe. Because we're in that time, man. It's not going to be just, oh, they hear about you. Oh, yeah, those are the Israelites. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't take, they're just people who, who are on the corners wearing dresses, you know, yelling at people. They marvel at the knowledge that we have. But they just take us as, oh, some dudes who just study and, you know, they just do, they do their thing. Very soon it's not going to be just they do their thing. Because their thing is going to be the, the, the greatest thing that's happening on the earth. Okay? Like the Apostle Gabar likes to say, this this uh, this thing of ours, guess what? A lot of people are going to want to make be, join that. Yo, wait, hold up. Nah, nah, no, nah. But check it though. What it is is that, yo, I dead been watching y'all for a minute. But nah, yo, it's crazy. Yo. Like, what's, what's up with that though? Like, how do I like do this? How do I join? Nah, bro. It's closed. Sorry. No more, no more. No, no, no. It's closed. All right? <laughs> okay? It's because... It, you know, people just, everybody wants to be a part of something when it's hot, you know, when it's hot and popping. That's when everybody wants to be a part of it. This isn't for show, all right? This is this is the works of the Lord, man. And they didn't believe the Lord. They didn't believe us, all right? When 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 we were out there prophesying, all right, we were out there teaching, they did, oh, yeah, 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 they just them. People walk past us like we don't exist, all right? They literally walk back and forth like we don't exist, okay? Like we're just, we're just ghosts. Like the wind. But guess what? What happens when you bring somebody back from the dead? Okay? Or, or you do something that, th that this world hasn't even seen before. You think we're not going to exist then? Let me get this then. Zephaniah 3 and 19. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and fame in every land, where they have been put to shame. And right now, we are in the land. We, we've, America is one of the lands which we've been put to shame in. Great shame. All right? So the Lord said he's going to get us fame and praise. How, how did that come about? Let me give you an example. Mm. 
and notice there it is I think it might be this Matthew 4 yep Matthew 4 and 23 and Yahweh Shai went about all Galilee teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people you see here it is somebody will be sick and they'll go and Esau will tell them oh, okay we can we can we can prevent you from dying but you have to stay on these medications for so so and so and even that people will be happy about because they feel like they have some sort of you know a relief or some sort of escape from death how much more for when the lord just makes you whole you know he puts the spirit on us and we just it, it's not about what we're, we're gonna give you a treatment which uh give it 30 to 60 days and you'll start feeling no 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 with side effect no make you whole right on the spot you know make you feel whole and and feel good right on the spot man healing actual healing all right not these bullshit uh 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 um uh what's the word i'm looking for um uh, placebo effects that they they give to you in the hospital no we're going to be doing authentic actual healing all manner of sickness okay it says an all manner of disease among the people so yahweh shai went about doing this and it says what and his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments. So, just imagine that, because today people get famous over doing the stupidest things. A stupid dance, a stupid catchphrase, you know, a stupid face, but they get famous. Now imagine how much more for, for this time, when, when we perform spiritual acts. Because these people, they get their fame off of social media. We're going to be all over every 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 platform. You know, just as how, when they demonize us, they put us on there. Oh, yeah, these these black Hebrew Israelites, this, that, and the third. How much more for those, the same quote-unquote black Hebrew Israelites, well, now they're healing people, you know? You're going to have it all throughout, man, Facebook, Instagram, social media, whatever, Google, YouTube, uh, RT, CNN. They're going to, all the whole world is going to hear about it, all right? Because you have brothers all around the whole world. So all the attention is going to be on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and his men. Okay? That's where it's going to be. And if you if you remember in the Gospels, the reason they had to get Yahweh Shai was because they said, Look, man, we, we got to do something about this because too many people are following him. And that's going to cause trouble for us. Because now, who cares about going to work? Who cares about going to school? How is Esau society going to run? Now he has to stop it because now we're taking the people away from their system. And their system is what? Collapsing. That's why it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but spiritual. All right? And mighty through the most high. So it says here, his fame went through went throughout all Syria and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments. Because you have people that will fly across the, the, the world to go see a fake ass pastor who will lie to them. And, and tell them, oh, yeah, I can heal you and do this and that. They'll literally fly with their sick relative over there to go and get healed. So when they see it being authentic, what do you think they're going to do when scientists can't even explain it? Well, you know, what they do is they actually touch you and then the genes and the cells inside. They, they, they have this phenomenal change that it causes the person who is sick to actually... No. All right? They, they're not going to have any explanation. You might have scientists start bringing their family members like, yo, to hell with this. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see what's up with that. It says, and those which were possessed with devils and those which were lunatic and those that had the palsy, he healed them. And there followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee and from Decapolis and from Jerusalem and from Judea and from beyond Jordan. Because now they're coming with, oh, shoot. Is this actually real? You have people that will see a celebrity and they'll pass out because the person sings sings nice or plays plays a sport. What about the person who brought who brought back somebody from the dead? What about the person who gave somebody their sight back, which is not of us, is of the Most High, but He uses us as vessels. Okay, so they're gonna come there like, whoa, is it actually real? Wait, aren't these the same men that were on the street corners saying all these different things? Oh, shoot. They were right. They were right. They were right. Hey, yo, 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 mom. Yo, you got to come down, you know? You're going to have, yo, yo, believe it, man. Because they're going to come there to see if it's real. 
and then they're going to see it happen, and they're going to believe. Next thing you know, they're thinking of their long-lost cousins and friends and uncles who need healing. They, yo, bring them all here. You know, because they're like, oh, it's real, man. So when the Lord said that fame, all right, I will get them fame and praise in every land where they have been put to shame. Guess what? It's going to be a complete flip. All right. The Lord is going to flip it because the fame is really going to start with the Lord's name. People are going to know everywhere. Hey, man, ain't no Jesus. Ain't no none of that. That, that. that doesn't work. OK, that doesn't work. All right. It's going to be Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And, and that they're going to see the true power in that name. All right. So this is Acts chapter one, verse eight. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth, which we're at right now. Okay? So best believe, all right, that we're in that time, man. Okay? And it's going to happen. Don't worry. It's going to happen. All right? But the Lord has set everything for an appointed time. So we got it, like, like the brother said in his testimony, all right, the angel told him, hey, man, y'all keep doing what y'all doing, okay? Keep doing what you're doing, and that's what we got to do, man. That's the mindset to remain in. Keep doing what you're doing, and dear unto the end. Keep pushing the word, all right? It's it's going to happen, man, and you're going to be grateful, all right, that you that you, that you you stayed uh, faithful and, fer and fervent, all right, to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, okay? So, Lord willing, this is edifying unto the elect, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and Shalom.